Every new day is worth celebrating in this curse. First blood, double kill. What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the assassin hero, Benedetta. Benedetta has a good set of blink burst, and area of effect skills. Our shadow ranger, Benedetta, is an assassin hero. I consider Benedetta as a burst assassin since all her skills deal area of effect damage. Not only that, her basic attack can be charged and let her dash while dealing damage. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Benedetta based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain our skills one by one for further understanding. Benedetta's passive, Elapse Daytime, lets her charge her basic attack to dash forward. When holding down the basic attack button, she charges her basic attack with sword intent. If you release the charging when the sword intent bar below her health bar is fully charged, she will slash forward towards the direction she is facing. You should move the joystick towards where you want to dash. You can travel all throughout the map with the help from the dash. Just keep spamming it to travel faster especially it doesn't consume mana at all. You can also try to evade area of effect skills such as this with the dash. This also lets you pass through obstacles for better mobility, even escape away from enemies chasing you. So make sure you have full charges most of the time, because the dash can save you in times of need. Enemies hit along the path will receive physical damage. Just take note that the dash damage is considered a skill damage. The damage decays when minions or creeps are hit. But still, since it's an area of effect, you can use this clear up minion waves easily. If she releases the charging of her basic attack button when she doesn't have full charge, nothing will happen. She can also gain sword and 10 charges when dealing damage through basic attacks and skills. She loses sword and 10 charges after a few moments of not gaining some charges. Benedetta's first skill, Phantom Slash, lets her slow enemies hit. Upon using, she steps back swiftly and leaves a shadow in front. The shadow will deal physical damage to a fan-shaped area and slowing them down. After that, Benedetta dashes forward to slash the enemies with physical damage. If the target was both hit by her and her shadow, the damage caused by Benedetta will increase. So better say your prayers if both the shadow and Benedetta hit you with the extreme burst slashes. You can also use this to clear minion waves along with your passive skill or second skill. You can also use this for clutch moves such as dying enemies chasing you. With its first capability, you can turn the tide of your fate. Since Benedetta does a step back and leap forward, you can use this to dodge skills. You can also dodge Franco's hook just like playing skip rope. Benedetta's second skill, an eye for an eye, lets her dash along a path while dealing damage. She raises her weapon to defend herself from incoming damage. During the casting, she gains crowd control immunity and blocks damage from any source for a short while. You can time this skill well to avoid crowd control from enemies such as this. Being immune from crowd control while charging can let you escape your fate from being a food for the enemies. After that, she stabs towards a specified direction and deals physical damage to enemies hit. So it's best to use it for clutch moments to make the enemy go mad and get killed. If she was able to block a crowd control effect successfully during the defense charging, she will gain full charges for her passive skill and stun the target blocked for a short period. But take note that enemies will only be stunned if you hit them with the damage from your second skill. If not, then you just don't get crowd controlled. Check out our experiment video about Benedetta on our YouTube channel for more mind-boggling experiments. Benedetta's ultimate skill, Electo Final Blow, lets her dash along a path and deal continuous damage to an area. She clenches her blade and slashes forward after a short delay, dealing physical damage and slowing all targets hit along the path. 
She is invincible during the dash. So being invincible during the dash can help you micro for survival. After the dash, the skills area of effect will deal continuous physical damage every few moments and will be slowing the enemies. This is best used during team fights to slow all the enemies stepping on the path. The slowing effect can make the enemies stay longer and feel the agony of your slashes. The dash can also help you dash away from enemies and slow them so it will be harder to chase you. Lastly, she gains full charges of her passive skill after casting the skill. There are so many items that you can buy for Benedetta. You can focus on items that grants physical attack, spell vamp, and items that give you additional extra damage. You can use the Kurumi Way build if you want to deal burst damage while sustaining your survival. We chose the following items to bring out Benedetta's burst potential while being sustainable. Get Raptor's Machete as your jungling item to deal more damage against jungle monsters. Buy this item only if you are using Retribution as your spell. You receive less damage from jungle monsters when you have a jungling item. Its passive effect makes your next basic attack enhance every few seconds, and will reduce the target's physical defense and movement speed. You also gain stacks when killing jungle monsters which boosts your physical attack per stack. This item also lets you use retribution to enemy heroes to slow them down and deal true damage to them. Magic Shoes will grant additional cooldown reduction so we can use our skills again as soon as possible. Cooldown reduction is best because Benedetta is an assassin that depends on her skills. Bloodlust Axe will give you Spell Vamp which regenerates health for you when you deal damage with your skills. Endless Battle to deal extra true damage on your basic attacks after using a skill. This item grants lots of stats that could boost your damage dealing capability off the charts. Blade of Despair will give you a massive amount of physical damage which will make your skills damage more explosive. Lastly, Immortality will resurrect you upon dying. Upon resurrection, you are given a certain amount of health points and a little bit of shield to protect you somehow. This build will bring out the best of Benedetta's damage, while being sustainable with your spell vamp inside team fights. You can use the burst build if the enemy's lineup has lots of squishy heroes like marksmen and mages. This build focuses on your extreme burst capability. Blade of the Heptases will grant you physical attack and health. Its unique passive deals extra damage to the target when you haven't deal any damage to any target in a while. Male Fifth Roar grants you massive physical penetration which lets you somehow make tank heroes less durable. This item also reduces the defense of turrets to help you on your pushing adventure. Lastly, you can use the sustainable build if you prefer Benedetta as a really durable assassin. We included Queen's Wings on this build. Queen's Wings will grant you damage reduction from incoming damage for a short while when your health reaches a certain point. This can be helpful when you keep on diving in team fights. The item build for Benedetta really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's descriptions so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Benedetta is Retribution. This will deal true damage to the target minion or jungle monster. When you have a jungling item, this spell will decrease the damage taken from jungle monsters permanently. This spell will help you kill monsters and farm faster. Building items quickly in the early game will give you advantage against enemies making it for you to prey easier on squishy targets like marksmen and mage. You can also consider purify. Consider this spell if the enemies lineup have lots of crowd control heroes. This will help you to be immune to crowd control skills for a short period. This will let you use your skills or basic attacks without the worry of being stunned. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Assassin Emblem set. Custom Assassin Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a burst assassin. Set agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Higher movement speed means higher chance to chase enemies or escape death. Setting invasion to max level will provide you physical penetration. Higher physical penetration means higher damage on your basic attacks and skills. Get killing spree to restore health points and gain movement speed upon killing an enemy which lasts for 5 seconds. With Benedetta's deadly combo, she can definitely kill enemies as swiftly as possible. So this will definitely let her survive inside team fights further. But in case you are not that type, just consider Bounty Hunter or High and Dry instead. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage output higher and the cooldown lower. 
Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need for better damage dealing. Always upgrade ultimate skill when available for upgrading. In terms of her combo, we usually use a smooth combo for Benedetta. Just take note that this suggested combo is not applicable on all situations. So better practice her skills and improvise your own combo during the match. Okay, so first we charge our basic attack to dash towards the target. You can use retribution on the target if ever you have that spell. Then, we deal basic attack specially if we want to deal the enhanced attack from endless battle. Then, we use first skill to slow the enemy further. Then, we target our ultimate skill on the path of the enemies towards their backline. This will slow them down specially when they are trying to escape. Then use your second skill if ever you feel that the enemies will focus their crowd control skills on you. This will let you evade the damage in their crowd control effects during the charging. Don't forget to deal basic attacks in between to abuse the true damage from endless battle. Additional tip you can use your first skill to do is step back towards the bush. On this scenario, Jawhead went crazy and threw the minion instead of me because of my step back which made his targeting go crazy. That's how Kobe does his shots. He does a step back to make the opponent crazy and do a fade away. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Benedetta. This video just guides you on how to use Benedetta, the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Benedetta. Thanks for watching, do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.